I'm honored to get to welcome our postmasters December graduates. We wish we could be in person celebrating with you guys because it is a highlight of the academic year for each of us. We wanna make sure we say congratulations and that you each take time with your loved ones to celebrate your hard work, determination, and dedication. We also know that you guys are true nursing leaders and we know that you will rise and make a difference in your patients as well as communities. Again, I want to say congratulations. It is my privilege to introduce Dr. Jennifer Johnson, your keynote graduation speaker. She is not only a Maryville alumni, but a nationally known legal expert in forensic nursing. She has testified before national and state assemblies and helped enact laws to expand rights of victims of crimes. She is a board certified advanced forensic nurse and president elect for the Academy of Forensic Nursing. She is active in several family justice centers and the Kansas Bureau of Investigations, Child Abuse and Human Trafficking Task Force, as well as the Complex Coordinated Terrorist Attack Workforce Group. She owns her own legal consulting practice and testifies nationally on behalf of those who need an expert in forensic nursing. Her DNP project at Maryville University is the largest study done to date on strangulation and it continues to receive international accolades. She helps hospitals establish and train sane nurses to meet their community needs and develops partnerships with law enforcement and military. Please welcome Dr. Jennifer Johnson. Graduates, faculty, and guests. My name is Dr. Jennifer Johnson, and in 2017, I was sitting at my own Maryville commencement ceremony. Today, it is my pleasure to be with all of you on this exceptional occasion. Graduates. When you first considered being a nurse, did you consider the ultimate why? I have to be honest with you, I didn't. I just knew at a young age of eight that being a nurse, that's what I was gonna be. My mother had asked me one day, what are you gonna be when you grow up? And I profoundly said, I'm going to be a nurse. My mother laughed and she said, we'll see. After high school, I packed up my things and I trudged off to my future to become that nurse. I never really pondered the path to achieve this goal. I didn't account for the twists or turns or dwell over the speed bumps or potholes that may await me. And to be sure, there were many of these, but being a nurse meant everything. I wanted to provide care to women throughout their lifespan. This was just the beginning of my ultimate why. I tried to stay focused. There were many, many nights of lost sleep and a lot of unhealthy amounts of coffee, but eventually graduation came. And I was so excited to be caring for patients, but then I had that scary thought that had occurred to, to me. You know which one I'm talking about. The one where you have that inner conversation where, what if I've forgotten something important? Or maybe I shouldn't do that, or that doesn't seem right. It's doubt. But despite all this, we've all forged ahead and we've learned everything we possibly could so that we could prepare ourselves to provide exceptional, comprehensive care to those that need us the most. Of course, the learning doesn't end there. In this profession, you will learn to find the desire to learn more, want more, be more, and provide more to patients. This is where your own why really begins to take place, your passion. This passion comes from feeling like you're a part of something that you believe in, something bigger 
than yourself. What was the defining moment you decided to return to the collegiate setting? For me, it was finding the mentor that I sought for. I searched for 16 years and she found me. Through many conversations, some eye rolling, and even some shoulder shrugging, I said yes. I knew that taking this giant step to forward my nursing education would provide an avenue for change. Although I never believed that these changes would apply to my person as well. I think at this point, um, my body has just accepted the perpetually nocturnal state um, it's in. Saying yes, despite sometimes wanting to quit halfway through, has opened more doors than I could have ever have imagined. Then came Maryville. Maryville pushed me to closely examine how advancing my education could forever change my professional prospects and ultimately my focus on how medicine is interwoven into crime. This is my why. I get to wake up every day and do something I love. I choose to be a voice for the voiceless and to be present in someone's darkest hour, whether they are a victim or an accused. I have an opportunity to be compassionate when the most unimaginable thing has happened to them. As a forensic practitioner, I've developed a comprehensive forensic program that validates that crime is a healthcare issue. I assist 64 different law enforcement agencies and countless prosecutors and defense attorneys throughout the country in using science and medicine within the criminal justice system. I've changed laws. I've educated thousands on the standards of care to provide a compassionate, evidence-based medical forensic evidentiary examination to ultimately hold the accused accountable for the crimes that they've committed or to exonerate them. Some of my choices, you know, the ones that led down the hardest paths may not have culminated in ways I had imagined, but the journey was exhilarating and rewarding. The jobs you work the hardest for, the ones you sacrifice time, sweat, and tears for are the ones that will fulfill you. Take risks. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't accomplish something or that something isn't obtainable. Don't be complacent. Most importantly, always remember to put your patient first. Be engaged, be present, even when you are faced with the most complex or complicated situation. Treat the patient, not the textbook. Realize that going forward after today, you have an opportunity to be an advocate for the science, to change the landscape of how people are treated. To wrap this all up, I will leave you with a mission. It's not an easy one, and I don't expect that you will see its completion anytime soon. Your mission, Maryville graduates of 2020, is to find your why. Find your passion. Have passion for what you do and be passionate about it. Be authentic. Speak truth. Be selfless earn trust, be supportive, ask the tough questions, be unstoppable. Listen to your gut, laugh a little, and remember, even if it's the darkest hour for someone, you can be the light for all the days that lie ahead of them. Congratulations, Maryville graduates of 2020. Thank you. At this time, I will announce the names of the students receiving their nursing certificate. Adeolua M. Adeyemo. Marasha Alliance. 
Sakina Alston. Amanda Sue Anderson. Peng Z. Anderson. Amelia N. Anyanwu. Renee Chantel Apon. Deborah Diane Archer. Olufun Malola Kahinde Atendei. Leon R. Aylet. Amy E. Bailey. Margarita Barlow. Kindy Michelle Barr. Maria S. Barrett. Whitney D. Basket. Brooke M. Beatty. Nicole Metcalf Beal. Kathleen B. Berghausen. Judith Marsha Beverly. Jamma Jelaine Bogart. Sharon Botchway. Sherry Lynn Boyd. Danielle L. Brainerd. Cassie N. Briggs. Kara Ray Brown. Denise S. Brown. Nicole Lynette Brown. Shannon Gail Brown. Jeanette Davis. Paula D. Brungart. Anne Marie Alicia Burke. Joanna E. Burns. Shanisha Alana Calloway. Janet Marie Campbell. Donette G. Campbell. Krista Cardenas. Karina Kata. Rebecca Lee Chavez. Kira Elise Clark. Samantha Clark. Barbara Clayton. Marion M. Codling. Jassa B. Connor. Reka Craig Chatterton. Shana Kelly Creighton. Megan Elise Cullors. Courtney Nicole Curtis. Nympha Delgado. Kimberly Danielle. Hiram Dale Davenport. Angela Davis. Jody P. Dawson. Melody Defebaugh. Paul Dennehy. Florence A. DeGraves. Ibrahim Diaz. Dana M. Doman. Susan Dumeyer. 
Adam Lee East. Christina Adozi. Elizabeth Lynn Effenberger. Mieza G. Ijigu. Esther Akuna Ikuber. Oladi F. Equire. Kimberly M. Ellison. Julie Ann Altaher. Maria Jelen B. Engelhart Perales. Natalie Monique Franks. Lauren E. Fuchs. Ashley N. Fugate. Jennifer F. Gaines. May M. Galbraith. Dean Forcho Guawam. Tercet Gebrezabet. Joyce E. Gentry. Jacqueline A. Gilbert. Janet Gilberth. Nicole S. Glover. Shanna F. Getch. Vanessa Graham. Lexi S. Gramke. Jacqueline M. Hafner. Raquel M. Hamilton. Jamie Hampton. Stacy Hansen. Laura M. Harrison. Patressa R. Harris Williams. Tammy R. Hawkins. Nina Deroga Hayes. Kimberly Marie Hedrick. Julie Ann Emmerine Heeb. Kelly L. Heffron. Camelia Hicks. Jason E. Hodgkinson. Heidi Christine Hollinger. Yolanda C. Holmes. Patricia Laverne Howard Chittams. Joseph G. Huber. Darlena S. Huggins. Dustin R. Hussman. Jasmine S. Hypolite. Yinka S. Jackson. Lenise R. Jamerson. Brenda G. James. Lori K. Jenkins. Margaret Jerome. Carly Joe Johnson. Julie Lynn Johnson. Stacy L. Johnson. Chigi N. John Ubabuko. Jossiner Joseph. Vivian W. Kamau. Carol Kennedy. Elizabeth Ann Kimball. 
Ethian Ekikbara King. Keith A. Kerbo. Olagoki Munenru Kolapo. Serdanani Antichen Kulapurako. Natalia Kornieva. Margarita Kass. Millar Cuppen. Kristen Kusterman. Ernesto Lahara. Leroy M. Lambie. Carla C. Lamley. Courtney Ann Landgraf. Amy E. Langenfeld. Rashida M. Lee. Kristen N. Lemke. Darlene Long. Krista L. Lewis. Kelly D. Lewis Fulton. Yoshi S. Lilly. Giovanna Marie Lindsay. Cynthia Ann Little. Bonglin Long. Stacy Madden. Janara Catherine Mallory Crawford. Cynthia L. Marengo. Tammy Joe Martinez. Sedoni H. Massa Tucci. Carol L. Massey. Angeli Mateo. Heather A. Mauk. Candace A. McPhail. Marcia McGinnis. Albert McNames. Christy Howie Meacham. Janet Melvin. Jane Ann Meyer. Mercy K. Miantona. Sharon Y. Moranti. Travis B. Money. Alyssa H. Moore. Katie Lee Moore. Ronnie Lee Moore. Jennifer Bilyeu Munzner. Elaine Brindley Murray. Faith Murray Taylor. Tracy Javon Nelson. Fania M. Nevue. Crystal Ann Newland. Patrick K. Naganga. Tun Tan Christine Lay Wynn. Angela M. Nickens. Margie L. Nielsen. Vanita L. Ninemeyer. Emmanuel Kipwe Nidge. Grace N. Namani. Tessa Kathleen Nordquist. 
Obienuju, Amy Baogu, Mary Ophili, Michael Ofakansi, Kyle Ogle, Christy Lane O'Neill, Sean Michael O'Neill, Priscilla Namomo Atubua, Yvonne J. Owens, Leticia L. Pappas, Rapal Chidupai Patel, Marsha I. Pender, Raina F. Perkins, Allison Maria Pingator, Asmani N. Placentia, John Stewart Prickett, Nancy J. Prothero, Emily A. Quick, Crystal S. Quince, Yvonne Lee Quinoyes, Francis O. Rainey, Angela Rao, Yvonne Rice, Brandy Kamea Richardson, Josie M. Reese, Tabitha Louise Roach, Blair A. Robbins, Colleen Roberts, Barbara D. Rodriguez, Yolette Antoine Romulus, Dawn Danelle Romfo, Christina R. Roybal, Kimberly Sue Rutledge, Hillary Ann Salmon, Peter Samoe, Azucena Sanchez, Andrew G. Satera, John Schmidt, Mary Scaletti, Sylvia A. Serleman, Jared Michael Edwin Seavey, Tammy M. Settles, Debbie M. Seymour, Jamie Thomas Sharp, William Edward Skibicki, Shauna Skog, Josephine A. Dasa Smith, Natalie Renee Spears, Catherine M. Steele B., Kelly M. Stevens, Rhonda E. Stewart, Ellery Terrife, Ashley Taylor, Nicole L. Taswell, Melissa A. Teets, Lisa L. Tennyson, Yasmin C. Thomas, 
Angela Nicole Tinkham. Nicole Tone. Olsner O. Vieira. Dormico Latasha Walker. Jasmine L. Walker. Rachel Elaine Walton. Michelle Ann Warren. Lorraine M. Watkins. Keely D. Wells. Tara Marie White. Angela Ruth Wiles. Gretchen Alyssa Williams. Lauren M. Williams. Paula Regina Williams. Blake Matthew Woods. Courtney Yvonne York. Kijam Yoon. Joanne Zangi Mace. Mary K. Zilke. Congratulations on your amazing academic achievements. You have persevered amidst 2020 challenges, which previously had not been faced by anyone. Abounding hope, hope for a better future. Take time to remember that the journey you have been on has prepared you with grit, determination, and hope for a better future for which you are well prepared. Be kind to yourself. Allow yourself to intentionally decide to continue to love and care for humanity who needs you. We are very proud of you and excited to share in this victorious moment. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you.